Genie is a specialized invented, patent pending, two-stage air spring shock technology with a coil-like linear spring rate mid-stroke and the progressive end stroke of an air shock. Once the Genie band closes off the larger outer chamber, air volume is significantly reduced in the smaller chamber for a much more progressive spring curve at the end stroke, massively increasing bottom out resistance. Both chambers' air volume can be independently adjusted by adding or removing spacers. The larger two-piece red rings are for the larger outer sleeve air chamber. These volume reducers affect the mid-stroke of the travel. The stock factory setting is one red spacer in the outer sleeve. Adding spacers increases the progressive rate of the spring curve, offering more support mid-stroke, independently of end stroke. Riders who typically add more air to a traditional shock for a firmer mid-stroke platform should try adding spacers to achieve their desired ride feel. Adding these spacers also provides a more poppy and playful feeling, useful for riding flowy, slalom-like trails with smooth berms and jumps. A maximum of four spacers can be used. Removing the stock spacer increases air volume even more, flattening the spring curve mid-travel, allowing the shock to use more of the travel, creating a super plush feel. This is useful for riders looking to increase sensitivity for inconsistent trails with lots of small to mid-sized bumps. The smaller blue and green eyelet spacers fit within the secondary air chamber. These affect the end stroke and bottom out resistance. The stock blue 0.2 inch spacer can be swapped out for the 0.4 inch green spacer, decreasing volume. This adds more bottom out resistance. Useful for riders using up all their travel on large bumps and hard landings. Riders who are not using all the travel should try removing the stock 0.2 spacer for less ramp up on the end stroke. The shock must be removed from the bicycle and partially disassembled to adjust the volume spacers in either chamber. Turn the compression adjuster to fully open. Remove the air cap and thread on the high pressure shock pump. Use the pump's air bleed button to slowly let all of the air out of the shock. Take off the pump and put the cap back on the shock valve. Remove the shock from the frame by unthreading the eyelet bolt on the top tube and the eyelet at the shock link. Push the outer sleeve up and away from the retaining ring. Remove the retaining ring. Remove the outer sleeve. The two-part red spacers click together, fitting around the shaft. To access the eyelet spacer in the secondary chamber, unthread the inner sleeve and slide it downwards. Slide the bumper and supporting washer away to expose the eyelet spacer. Change or remove the eyelet spacer. Rethread the inner sleeve. Add back any volume spacers you plan to run in the outer chamber. Replace the outer sleeve. Replace the retaining ring. And replace the O-ring on the shaft. Reattach the shock to the frame and link. Follow the detailed pivot assembly instructions in the manual. Using a high pressure shock pump, inflate to the desired or recommended pressure. Slowly cycle the shock in the first 30% of the stroke to equalize the positive and negative air chambers. Recommended starting sag is 16 millimeters. Recheck the sag measurement, adjust air pressure as needed, and go ride and feel the magic of genie.